Okay, good morning everyone from Portland, Oregon. We only have a few days left here, so I'm trying to make the most of them. That's why today I have to go downtown to run some errands, but I'm bringing my camera bag. I'm just gonna try to make some images there. Of the bus so downtown Portland is not very exciting for photography so I I decided to stop here first at the other side of the river because I want to make a few long exposures of the river and some of the bridges that are pretty cool in this city so that's the first thing that I'm gonna be doing today of course when I say not very exciting for photography I mean for my kind of photography I don't do any street photography or anything like that I just don't feel comfortable I feel very aware of myself so I just prefer to focus on what I, I'm good at or I think I'm good at and uh, photographing bridges and buildings and stuff like that for me is much more fun anyway to, than photographing people. So this right here is the Hawthorne Bridge. It's one of the most beautiful bridges in this city, but this is not a good angle. As you can see, the cool part is right here, the middle section of the bridge. And from here, it's overlapping. It has the background, the buildings from downtown in the background. So I'm gonna look for a different angle. There's a boardwalk here that goes along the river. I was planning on going there anyway. I'm making a couple images from there, from down, of downtown and this bridge, and probably another one. So yeah, let's do that. So I hope you can hear me, it's been very loud here. This boardwalk is very nice. There are a lot of people biking and running and whatnot. But the problem with this boardwalk is that there is a highway next to it. It's I-5, it's a major highway. And it gets very, very loud. So loud that I tried to make a long exposure under a bridge and I gave up because my ears started to hurt really bad. They used to hurt and that was like a half, uh, half an hour ago. Anyway, I'm here at the end of this uh, bar walk. As you can see, uh, I like this area a little bit more because as you can see, the highway, there is an elevated pass there and that is allowing me to get more uh, mini minimalistic, more simple shots uh, just by pointing up my camera. That's one of the things that you can do in a city to simplify your compositions and your photos. Just point up and capture that building and capture that highway, capture, capture that bridge uh, that way so that your uh, images are a little bit more simple and not so busy with a lot of people, cars or stuff like that that you usually want to 
avoid to make your images look less like a snapshot, if that makes sense. And this is where the almost last bridge uh, in Portland is. This is a steel bridge, one of my favorite bridges here, only second to St. John's that is a little bit farther north. I made one of my favorite images there at St. John's on a very foggy and rainy day. That was three years ago, so it's still one of my favorite images. I've been wanted to try, or I've been wanted to make a similar image of this bridge, but I, I still haven't gotten that uh, foggy and rainy day uh, to isolate the bridge from the very busy background. This is a much busier place here than St. John's, but hopefully one day. So there behind me, there you go. There behind me is the Portland, Oregon sign. That is the cliche photo. I'm not gonna take it because I've already taken it many times, but I'm gonna keep going. Also, this is not a good part of town. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep going because uh, at the other side of the, the, the that bridge, there is the a festival going on these days. It's the Rose Festival, and there is a Ferris wheel. And I saw the other day a potential image. The Ferris wheel is white, and that contrasts very good or very well with the uh, dark trees around. That's uh, something that I've mentioned many times. Uh, look for contrast in your black and white images. I'm gonna try it and see if it uh, works out. All right, so the shot of the Ferris wheel didn't go as well as I thought it would. The best image uh, was uh, from uh, the bridge, but it's not as good as I thought it could be, so it's okay. Anyway, you might remember that at the beginning of the video, I said that I had to come to downtown to run some errands, and that is still true, and all I've been doing so far is just uh, taking images, so I need to start doing those uh, few things that I have to do today. The first one is I have to pick up uh, print uh, that I have to send to ship to a customer today. It's a custom order and I'm very excited to see that print. It's the first time that I print that image and uh, it would be very interesting to see uh, what it looks like. So let's go to the uh, store, to the printing uh, store, um, pick it up and see what it looks like. got the print I already look at it of course I, I had used this place before so I knew what to expect but this is the first time I print this image so I didn't know what to expect but I think it looks great there we go I think it looks great this time I used a, a paper with a little bit less of a texture I know you can notice the paper that I usually use for my image of the month images uh, has a little bit more texture. I'm uh, experimenting with uh, different papers now. I like this one. I know. You guys let me know what you think. This is uh, an image that I made in California in pretty much in the middle of nowhere. There were super cool clouds in the sky as you can see uh, forming that curve there. That was very cool. Very cool evening in California and of course the, the light hitting just uh, behind that Joshua tree. Very, very cool and I, I like the image a lot. I like the print and, uh, and the image too, of course, but yeah, nice. 
All right, so I met Rachel for coffee, then went out for lunch with some old friends and co-workers. I am very exhausted now. I'm back on the east side. It is much more peaceful here. I love this part of Portland. Yeah, I'm just heading back to the Airbnb. I'm going to be stopping by one location really quick. A couple years ago, I donated a few copies of my scene to the library, to the public library here. Libraries are a great place to work. If you have a nomadic lifestyle like we do, we've been going to uh, one location in Southeast, but they don't have any copies of my scene. So I'm going to go to this other uh, location where they are supposed to have one. Many of you might not even know what this thing is about, but it was uh, basically my first and only publication so far. And uh, it's not my best work, I think. My work has gotten better uh, over time, but uh, I'm still really proud of that uh, scene. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit, uh, a few highlights. So that was cool. It's always nice to see your work printed and in a public place where others can enjoy it. All right, so I've been editing the video and you'll have to forgive me for the very shaky footage, lesson learned, talk to the camera only when it's on a tripod or at least you are not walking. Sadly, I wasn't able to make as many images today as uh, I would have loved to. I was very tired. I had to take a nap. I walked more than 10 miles. It was a very long day. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to share some of my favorite images that I've made in Portland over the years that I haven't shared here on YouTube. Uh, I want to talk about one specifically that I'm going to put right here. I was on my way to somewhere to a park for sunrise and I saw this uh, dead raccoon on the on the ground and someone uh, had attached a balloon to the raccoon and the balloon said get well soon and I thought it was kind of hilarious and sad and it just screams poor and all over but before uh, showing you those images and calling this a day calling this a video I just wanted to expand a little bit on something that I mentioned uh, very shortly on the video I wanted to talk about this in the streets but it was very loud and I thought that it would be better just to do it from here I wanted to talk about street photography as I said I don't really do street photography I've tried in the past but I don't feel comfortable doing it I feel like I'm making people not feel or feel uncomfortable when I do it. I got yelled at uh, here in the States uh, a few times, even though I was not taking pictures of uh, those people. I was taking pictures of a car without realizing that there was someone in the car and they just started yelling at me. And uh, examples, like, examples like that, even not too long ago, just a few months ago uh, in France, I was taking a photo of a boat in a port. I mean, there were a bunch of boats. I was just taking a picture of one of them and someone approached me and asked me why. I was taking a, a picture of his boat uh, well. Also, as you could see in the video, cities are very loud and very noisy. There are distractions everywhere. You have to be careful with bikes, with people walking on the sidewalks. If you're taking photos there, you so you don't obstruct them. You have to be careful with cars and other vehicles. So for me, it's just a mess. I just, uh, and it's not, uh, I know, I just, uh, I think I, I, I am better as a photographer when I can relax, I can be in my own zone, you know. I understand why street photographers like it though. I enjoy looking at the street photographs. I think they are they can be very powerful when you capture an emotion from someone in a in the this is a decisive moment. I think they can be very, very powerful in a way that no tree, no mountain, and no uh, building uh, can give you for, or can give your image. I think you have to have uh, uh, something special to be a street photographer and all my respect to uh, the 
many uh, amazing street photographers out there because that's a that's a, a lot of work a very hard job i wish i had it but i i just don't anyway gonna uh, finish editing the video i'm gonna leave you now with uh, some of uh, my favorite images that i made here in the city of portland i hope you enjoyed this video it was a little bit different than the, what i usually do uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching once again and see you in the next one